Welcome back to AP Psychology in under 3 minutes. No time for intros, let's get into it. Today we're covering sleep. Every night when you decide to sleep, there's a process and reason for it. First, we need to define consciousness. This simply refers to your awareness of thoughts, feelings, behaviors, and what's going on around you. There are two basic states of consciousness, wakefulness and sleep. The sleep-wake cycle is called a circadian rhythm, which is a biological cycle that repeats roughly every 24 hours and some call a biological clock. Things like jet lag or shift work can throw off this rhythm, leading to fatigue, poor performance, and changes in mood. Now let's move into the stages of sleep, which are identified by brain wave patterns measured on an EEG. A full night of sleep typically has about 4 to 6 full 90 minute cycles. A single sleep cycle is broken into stages and repeats throughout the night. Let's go through one 90 minute cycle. Non-REM 1 is light sleep, where you may experience hypnagogic sensations such as feeling like you're falling. This stage lasts around 5 to 10 minutes. Non-REM 2 is deep deeper and characterized by sleep spindles on an EEG. This stage lasts about 10 to 25 minutes. Non-REM 3 is the deepest stage, sometimes called slow wave sleep. As the night progresses, non-REM 3 gets shorter and less frequent, ranging from about 20 to 40 minutes. Then you go back to non-REM 2 for a couple of minutes. And finally, REM, or rapid eye movement, is different. It's called paradoxical sleep because the EEG shows brain activity similar to wakefulness, but your body is extremely relaxed and essentially paralyzed. Most dreaming occurs in REM sleep. The amount of REM sleep increases across the night. If you're deprived of REM, your body enters REM rebound, spending extra time in REM the next time you sleep. This sleep cycle lasts a varied amount of time, but will fall within the range of 10 to 60 minutes. After one full cycle is completed, it will simply repeat over and over again until you wake up in the morning. So here's the big question. Why do we even sleep? No one truly knows the answer to this question, but here are a couple of theories. The activation synthesis theory of dreaming suggests dreams are the brain's attempt to make sense of random neural activity. The consolidation theory says as dreaming is tied to organization and storing memories. More broadly, sleep itself may help with memory consolidation and restoration of energy and resources used during the day. Next, let's cover sleep disorders, which can seriously affect daily functioning. Insomnia is a disorder where you have difficulty falling or staying asleep. Narcolepsy is a crazy disorder where out of nowhere you will suddenly fall asleep with no warning. Sleep apnea is when there is interrupted breathing during sleep. REM sleep behavior disorder is when you act out dreams because the normal paralysis of REM doesn't occur and somnambulism is sleepwalking, which usually happens in non-REM stage 3 of sleep. Treatments often include sleep hygiene and consistent schedules to improve waking behavior and overall well-being. On the screen now are some AP style questions for this topic. Pause now! I'll put the answers on the screen now! I will see you in the next one!